so I just got to Seoul. I can't actually believe I'm like actually here. It's really crazy. I'm really tired and I kind of have no idea where I'm going right now. So I'm just following signs to the train because I, I need to get to Busan and I, can, I think there's a train from the airport to Busan and if there isn't then I have to go to Seoul and then I'll get a train from there. But um, yeah, my flight wasn't too bad. I had to like change over so I had a layover in Istanbul for like two hours and it was all really smooth. The flight was like... I think overall like it's pretty much the same distance as to Japan so it takes like 13 hours from England. So kind of long but I'm not really that tired like I managed to sleep a bit on the plane which was good. This is like my first time in Korea so I don't really know anything. I don't know no Korean as well. Um, luckily like loads of the signs at the airport and stuff are in Japanese as well so I can read those which is good. I'm um, not really sure what, I don't really know like how they deal with people who don't speak Korean, like if it's okay to just speak English the whole time, because obviously like I don't want to do that, but I'm probably going to have to because I don't speak any Korean, but um, yeah, oh my goodness, airport like so cool, yeah. really like futuristic and modern-y, um, I'm going to get the train from somewhere, I'm going to have to like, I'll stop recording now because I kind of have to actually work out where I'm going, but I'll see you guys in a sec. Hi guys, so I've got to Busan. Um, I got here about four hours ago. Um, I actually took the KTX train straight from um, Seoul Incheon Airport to Busan. Didn't have to go all the way to the central of Seoul to get the bus, which was good. Sorry, to get the train. Um, it cost 72,000 won, I was about to say yen, uh, 72,000 won, which is about 50 pounds. So it was kind of more on the expensive side, but um, it only took two and a half hours. And if I got a bus, then that would have taken like five hours or six hours. And I was already like really tired and jet lagged from 17 hours of flying. So I didn't really want to have to add any more time onto my journey. I was going to try and like film something on the train as well. But I mean, it was completely quiet. There were people sitting next to me. So I don't really want to like start just speaking in front of a camera because like everyone would be able to hear it and it'd be kind of awkward. So I just thought I would do this here. Um, when I got to Busan, first thing I did, well, firstly, um, from the KTX, from um, Busan Station, which is where the KTX stopped, I had to go and get the subway. And that was an interesting experience because never, I'd never got the Korean subway in my life before. <laughs> so first thing I had to do was get a subway card. Um, and I mean, that sounds easy, but I actually had no idea how to get a card. So I kind of had to like watch other people because there was no one there I could even ask either. So that was the first thing I did. Um, then I had to get the subway and like the barriers that you walk through, they're actually quite small. So I kind of misjudged the size and my suitcase got stuck in the barriers and there was like a flood of people trying to get through and I was holding everyone up and it was the most, I mean, embarrassing thing that I have done in a while. So like on my first day, kind of like embarrassed myself by doing that. But you learn from your mistakes So now I know don't bring suitcases on the Korean subway because they will get stuck. But um, yeah, after I did that, oh, it's a bit noisy. After that, I basically just went straight to the place where I'm going to be doing my sort of English teaching. Um, I had like a tour of my apartment, went straight there. I'll show you the streets because it's, it's really, really busy. Didn't expect it to be so busy here, but it is. Um, just thought I'd go for a little walk because I don't really want to go to bed just yet because I know that if I do, I'm going to wake up at like 5am and be super, super jet lagged. So I'm just trying to keep myself awake until I can go to bed at like a normal time. Um, oh, last video, I told you guys that I entered a Japanese speech competition, right? So let me tell you how that went. So um, actually the speech is BTS. Okay, stop. Gonna stop being distracted. Um, so the speech contest was on the 4th of March and there were six finalists and I somehow managed to come third. <laughs> like all the finalists were um, like fourth year university students and I was the only first year. So to, I mean to even get to the final like first year I was like amazed that actually happened because I thought there was no way that was gonna happen. But like I somehow managed to come third. Um, I was like so happy because I won like 350 pounds, the camera, some other like things that I haven't really, haven't really like looked at my prizes properly yet. But yeah, I was really happy with that. Um, 
it was a great sort of I guess a great sort of end to my term because that speech contest caused me so much stress like not gonna throw any shade here but I didn't exactly want to enter in the first place but my Japanese teacher was very like you know sort of pushing me to enter it so I like entered and then around like the mid middle of the term I had tons and tons of work because I had like my normal Japanese work then I had to do the postgrad Japanese work um, then I also had the speech competition to prepare for and that was literally like the worst few weeks I have experienced at Oxford so far so as soon as that was done the fact that I came third actually made me really happy because if I didn't cut <laughs> because like this is, okay, this is going to sound bad but like for the amount of work that I put in I would have been quite annoyed if I didn't do at least relatively well on it because like if you try like really really hard for something and then you end up like not placing at all then you kind of feel like it's a waste of time so I feel like actually really happy that I was able to accomplish something by doing all that work anyway that is now over no longer have to worry about that speech um, just happy that it's all over not really sure what I'm doing tomorrow because um, I only have to work from 7 p.m. till 10 p.m. like every day so basically my entire day is all the time are free so I feel like I'm just gonna do loads of exploring and looking around Busan and trying stuff also probably learning Korean because this is like the first time where I've been well I mean in a country where I understand like none of the language like usually I don't know if you go to like France or I study German as well so when I went to Germany I could speak German I'm, Usually, like, when I go to a country, I know, like, some phrases, and I'm able to communicate, like, a tiny bit. But this time, I understood absolutely... But this time, I understand nothing. And it's actually a bit, like, daunting walking into a shop and not being able to speak to people. And literally, the only, like, Korean phrases I know are, like... And I'm going to say, oh, like... And... And... Which is probably, like, a really... I, I don't think I'm ever going to have to use that phrase in, like, a shop. So gonna actually try and actually like study some as well while I'm here because I'm actually gonna have so much free time like I didn't really realize that before because I only work three hours a day so yeah gonna enjoy my time here um, this is my first day and I'm kind of just exploring everywhere it's so different to Japan which I mean I was kind of expecting that but I wasn't expecting it to be so different so probably gonna make a video at some point about like cultural differences and things like that um, but yeah, I'm just gonna probably head back now. I'm low-key kind of lost, I don't know where I am. But um, yeah, hopefully, I guess you guys now know that I'm in Korea and it's a really, really cool place. I'm gonna try and go to Japan actually at some point during this trip, um, if I can, because like flights with Peach Airlines are literally like 100 pounds return, which is ridiculously cheap. So if I can find cheap flights, definitely gonna try and do it. And yeah, Dom in Japan will be back in Japan. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it and are able to follow me and my journeys in Busan and in Korea. And yeah, I will see you in my next video. Bye.